What is your sex education horror story? Not horrible, but we were supposed to play a health jeopardy game but the teacher accidentally chose a sex positions one. Lol. Reminds me of when a teacher turned on the radio and accidentally tuned into a station that was playing a song and we all heard the lyrics I'm ready to smoke some crack we were hysterical after that lol. Teacher turned bright red and fumbled with the computer to shut it off. Split us up into boys and girls with the girls going off into another room for instruction. Then two teachers screamed at us for what must have been 20 minutes that if anyone laughed or made a joke we would be suspended. Nice intro, thanks. It was the same for me. How can you expect kids that age not to laugh? Sometimes it's because of something funny and other times it can be from nerves. For me, some of the topics made me uncomfortable and I laughed to ease uncomfortable situations. I remember thinking about death or dead people to try to stop myself from laughing. Let the kids laugh. There was a kid in class who raised his hand and asked, what's it called when girls spray out that liquid during sex? The teacher responded girls don't do that. He said trust me it's real, I've seen it a bunch of times in video she never responded. That was 6th grade. I asked my, particularly gay, teacher this in biology, to which he replied women don't ejaculate. Dude behind me, eh? So what's wrong with my lass? Oh my god. Lamau out of all the comments in the thread this one made me bust out laughing. That kid is ready to take over her job. One kid in my class asked if you could get STDs from having sex with a chicken. Kind of put him on the spot and was a little suspicious. Someone link that country boys make do picture please. Web link. You effed those chicken breasts didn't you quote of the century. Allegedly. Not really a horror story in high school sex ed our teacher had a big section on condoms which culminated with the class betting on how stretchy they were to prove that no one should accept the I'm too big for them excuse. Well one air pump and one condom later we had our answer at about the size of a long watermelon. As our teacher was going to try to pop it, to prove they tough, our principal was doing his rounds and opened the door saw a teacher smacking the crap out of an inflated condom and just backed away slowly. I found it hilarious. Principal, hey I need the teacher, violently smacking inflated condom. Teacher, steadily meets principal's gaze without pausing the smacking. We watched a video that tried to be hip and cool about sex ed and puberty. Direct quote, during puberty, a woman's hips and breasts grow. Insert poorly done animation of a girl's hips and breasts enlarging to ridiculous sizes. No, not that big. Early training for hentai? Pixar mom. My friend's mom bought a sexual reproductive pop-up book. It covered both male and female. So you would open it up and the uterus and fallopian tubes would pop up at your face. You can only imagine the fun we had with that. Is that an open sex ed pop-up book in your pants or are you happy to see me? We played STD in a cup everyone gets a cup of water, one cup of water has a bunch of dissolved starch in it, the STD. We went around swapping fluids to represent sex, and we're supposed to see if we could safely avoid STDs without protection, swapping fluids. At the end, we find out who had the STD by dropping iodine into each cup, turning the starch blue. If it turned blue, you tested positive. Everyone in the class ended up with the STD, even me, because even though I only had one partner, and they had only had one before me, the one before them was a slut and had everybody's fluids. Honestly, a very good exercise and warning. Except for that one kid. At the end, he dumped his test results and refilled his cup at the bubbler in order to claim he didn't have the STD, and he was good for more fluid swapping. Honestly, Another good lesson on buttholes who will lie about being clean. Use protection, kids. That's actually a good way to teach that haha. Being singled out by the teacher because I had a unique name for a scenario along with a boy who I didn't like. She used our names in a scenario talking about how a relationship develops. 
we had to stand in front of the class while she described random scenarios where we might end up having unprotected sex, and why it was bad. I was not attracted to this boy, and I'm sure he wasn't attracted to me either. Hearing her talking about us having sex was nightmarish. That's ridiculously inappropriate. You can say person A and person B, not hey. You kids. Let's talk about how y'all would bang. In law school we were taking up property law the other day, and there was this one section about how the owner of a pregnant animal will automatically be the owner of its offspring, for example if you borrow my horse, and it gives birth, you must return both the original horse and the foal, one guy was instructed to come up with a situation about sheep breeding, and had to use the names of his classmates. The professor intended for the names to belong to the metaphorical farmers, but the guy mistakenly ended up using them for the sheep and was on the verge of basically describing two girls in class breeding with each other. When I took a law class the professor used the Seven Dwarves and Lord of the Rings characters in hypos for exams. Like can Sauron patent his design for the One Ring? I don't know if magic is covered by patent laws. A math teacher that, very incorrectly, talked about the skin color of the potential kids a girl I had a crush on and me, a very white boy, would probably make us an example of, averages? I think he said they'd come out normal no effing joke. I only now realized how horrendously and outrageously inappropriate that is on multiple levels. Edit, I forgot to mention we were 13 to 14 years old and in geometry. I do not believe this was appropriate for school WTF is wrong with that teacher. Teachers are always told to make lessons relevant to the students, but since no one bothers to teach how, we end up with crap like this. Sixth grade sex ed, at the end of the class, the teacher opened the floor for questions. She said we could ask anything as long as it was a serious question. The only question I remember is when a kid, male, asked, it's okay to have sex with your sister, right? The teacher stared at him for what felt like a minute and said no. Ha ha I asked what oral sex was and my teacher said, you know what sex is? You know what oral means? Figure it out I did not figure it out. I thought oral only meant oral presentation as in speaking and figured it was sex where you talked a lot. That's oral sex. No, that's when it goes in the ear. You're thinking of orator sex. I'm not meaning, I'm actually serious. That's how you get hearing aids. There's not a large enough drum kit in the world for the rim shot this joke requires. Did I hear rim shot? As funny as this is I'm caught up on the sex ed teacher being asked a question about sex and telling someone to figure it out. Just because they think it's obvious they don't explain it? That's some top-down reasoning right there. She wasn't a great teacher to be honest. I do feel bad for her though because, no lie, it turned out she did some lingerie modeling at some previous point in her life and somehow the boys found the pictures. I think that was the last year she was at the school. I know that sounds like a soap opera lol. Sixth grade also, as a joke my friend asked the male teacher what does cum taste like. He answered salty. Depends on what he meant by your. And how we are defining sister. Any female or male stuck in the washing machine. My sex ed teacher brought a kid up to the front of the classroom wearing a shirt that had two long sleeves and explained what an uncircumcised penis looked like. To be fair, that would have helped immensely when I was in middle slash high school. Listen kids, this is dickhead. Teacher hit a girl in the face with a dildo. We did not learn how to put on condoms that year. Come again? The school had a briefcase of mounted dildos so that every health class could learn how to put on condoms. It was kept under lock and key obviously and was an object of great interest to the student body, so when we got to class and saw the case on the teacher's desk we knew what was up. The teacher was 100%, a nightmare and very nasty to students. So he's talking about the importance of condoms and he takes one of these mounted dildos out and sets it on this one girl's desk. This girl was pretty sheltered slash naive and you could tell she was terribly uncomfortable having this thing on her desk. So the teacher picks it up and starts waving it in her face while asking her if she was uncomfortable, while she just sat there in silent horror. He started waving it more aggressively and then bam, right on the face. 
The girl screams and the teacher immediately ran to throw the thing back in the case, case locked up and put behind the desk, no more talk of condoms for the rest of the year. Edit, lots of questions of whether the teacher got fired or punished in some way. He did not get fired for this, he was still working there three years later but is no longer at the school. It's possible he got punished behind closed doors but there was no big aftermath. He was mainly a gym teacher and basketball coach, who unfortunately also did health. What a dick move. The fact that he taunted and intimidated her with a sexual device should mean no more teacher. Ever. Honestly that sounds like the start of a sexual embarrassment or even a sexual assault case. Did he get in trouble for that? I can't imagine how he could still have his job as a teacher. My mom's the sex ed teacher. No context needed. Damn that must have sucked. You in therapy? I certainly am laughing my butt off. I think there's a TV show about you bud. Do the other kids call you sex kid? Are you a very awkward dude with a writer for a father and a sex therapist slash teacher as a mother? I don't have a dad. You fit the descriptions of the show's main character nice. Luckily his dad is a psychiatrist. More of a lack of sexed horror story, and thankfully short. A guy who I had a crush on, both of us seniors, pulled me aside one day and asks. So when a girl has her period she just lays an egg in the toilet right? I'll be honest. I'm not sure if I answered him or just stared at him. Did you suddenly not have a crush on him anymore? Pretty much. Lol. Did you ever lay the egg? We need to know. Bok. Edit. Holy crap. I never expected this random comment of mine to become my most upvoted thing ever. Well technically a very very small egg. Got it too late. It caused a lot of stress when we found out we were using birth control pills wrong. Did your doctor not explain to you how to take them? My girlfriend and I were both 15. She would steal them from her older sister and we would each take one before we would start doing things. This went on for most of a summer. Edit after this blew up. To answer a few questions. I am male. The year was 1990, so no Google. We were lucky to not get pregnant at the time, and nothing happened to her sister either. We didn't last long after that summer. When we found out we'd been doing it wrong, we got stressed out, we both said things we couldn't take back, and the relationship fizzled away. We never spoke again. I still regret the way it ended. Ah, this is the best one in the thread by a lot. Yep definitely, should be a lot higher up actually lolled. When I read using birth control pills wrong for a moment I thought she was snorting them or something. You know, until I read this comment, I figured using birth control pills were self-explanatory. Some people assume they should be used intravaginally like a pessary. You have to actually specify by mouth when you prescribe them. The hormones must have been so effing confused. You were a little confused, but you got the spirit. Thank you for watching. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube. And share them with your friends. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. We welcome your comments below. Another of our videos will begin shortly.